Hey guys, Barbara here. I'm sure if you've been with me for a while, you would have already known that I would be back this quickly with another bagel recipe. So a couple weeks ago, I showed you guys how to make the plain bagels and the cinnamon raisin bagels. Today's recipe is gonna be so awesome because it's jalapeno Parmesan cheese bagels. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. This is two and a half cups of bread flour. To this, I'm adding a tablespoon of sugar and two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. And I'm just gonna add two cups of warm water from the faucet. Let me go ahead and use my whisk first. And then I'm gonna switch out to a spatula because I wanna get the, um, I guess this is a batter. I call it a starter, but get it up off of the edge of the bowl, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this up with the same uh, lid that came with the bowl and set it aside on the countertop for like an hour so that it can foam up. So one hour later, it's foamed up beautifully. And now we're gonna start on the rest of it. So this is two and a half cups of bread flour. So it's a total of five cups of bread flour that you'll need. A teaspoon of salt, a third cup of Parmesan cheese, and a cup of jalapeno peppers that I've diced up. The easiest way that I know how to do this is to cut them with shears. So let me go ahead and get this mixed in because I want them to be scattered throughout my bagels. So now let me go ahead and throw my dry ingredients into the wet, kind of like when we're doing cakes, you know? And because a lot of people don't own a stand mixer, I always use the handle of my wooden spoon and just get my bread kneaded up this way. So um, at some point, you're going to become very frustrated with this wooden spoon and you're going to want to get your hands involved. So make sure your hands are washed take off your ring, you know, so, or your rings, I only have one ring that I wear, and then go ahead and dump it out on the countertop, on a floured countertop, and just get it worked in, and um, we're going to set this aside to, um, to rise again for one hour, so I've cleaned the bowl already, and we just want to um, go ahead and make sure that it is smooth before we set it aside, okay, so like this, so let me go ahead and dump it in here, and then cover it up with a clean dish towel, and wait for one hour. This show is brought to you by Beans and Rice and Jesus Christ, a collection of over 100 easy-to-create Belizean recipes. You can pick up your copy at thebearpantryshow.com. It's one hour later, and look at it, guys. It's beautifully risen. Let me get it from the bowl. All I need now is a little bit of flour on my countertop, and I'm still using the bread flour, okay? Now, all I have to do is get the air out of this. A lot of people will tell you that you have to punch the dough down. You don't really have to, but if you're mad at somebody and you want to punch something, this is wonderful to punch, okay? It's so soft. <laughs> now, let me go ahead and flatten this out into a circle, and I'm going to use my dough cutting tool, or you could use a big knife, and then cut it in half first. Look at the jalapenos. And then just go ahead and cut it like this into fours. Why do we do this? Because I don't want to go out and buy a kitchen scale, and I want them to be equal or as even as I can go. So let me work the first one into a ball and I'm going to use my rolling pin to just give it a little squish. We don't want it to be flat as a pancake or as a tortilla, okay? But just a little squish so it doesn't poof up too tall. Now let me work this one and if it gets too sticky like right here, just go ahead and add a little bit more flour. Don't be afraid to do that, okay? Let me go ahead and pinch the bottom and then turn this part down on the counter and then squish it with my rolling pin. See, I've showed you guys two now, right? Let me cut it with my cookie cutter and I'm setting them aside on a parchment lined baking sheet. Now at the end you're going to have um, eight like this. So these are the holes and I just use four and four to make two more of the bagels. Okay, so let me go ahead and cut this one out and then on the very last one I'm just going to tear the hole out. Okay, I'm not going to punch because I don't want any dough to be wasted. So see, little bitty baby one and set this aside. Now see, this is where I was putting them. Let me go ahead and cover this up and let it rise for about 20 minutes. At the 10 minute mark, you wanna go ahead and start boiling your water, five cups of water in a shallow pan like this, and then just drop them in two at a time. Oops, I forgot to put the salt. Because this is the savory ones, you wanna go ahead and put salt, okay? Now let me go ahead and flip one to one and a half minutes only on each side. If they have overrisen, you only want to boil them one minute on each side. Okay, that's very important. 
So let me go ahead and take this out and put it on my wire cooling rack. And you only want to do them two at a time because if you do more, you're going to overcrowd the pan and you're not going to be able to flip them. Plus it'll calm the water down. So let me go ahead and flip and see what I'm doing with them on the wire cooling rack. Now let me go ahead and put my egg wash. This is one egg that I'm using a barbecue brush to just brush on. So this gives it that golden color. Plus it gets a little bit more hard on the top, which is, which is what I like. Some Parmesan cheese sprinkled on the top into the oven. They go at 400 degrees. Remember to switch them around, okay? If you're new to my channel and don't know what to watch next, take a look at these wonderful playlists that I've created here for your convenience. I have all the authentic Belizean dishes in one playlist, and I even have a list here for my review channel with all the fantastic reviews that I've done so far. Would you please be a sweetie and share them for me? Here they are, fresh from the oven. This is the first four. Now let me get the next tray. Look at all the Parmesan cheese on top, guys. Now let me get one open. First of all, let me give you a warning. When you cut the jalapeno peppers, wear some gloves because normally I can cut jalapenos and not feel the burn through my skin. But I think because I had to handle so many peppers, I did seven large peppers, okay? And I just kind of slice them the long way, rip the seeds out, and then cut them with the shears. I think all that handling of the pepper, the capsaicin and stuff in the skin really got me because this little finger here was burning. So I had to go put some really raw honey on it to cool it down, okay? That's my little tip for you guys today when you get cuts and burns in the kitchen go ahead and put really raw honey so take a look at the inside of our bagels see how the jalapeno peppers are scattered throughout that's because I put them in the dry ingredients and then mix it in with the wet if you're trying to add stuff to the dough when it's already formed like when you're cutting it into the eight pieces you're gonna have a lot of trouble with the items not being spread throughout okay so pretty much when you want to make a different style of bagels you're gonna have to get eight of the one flavor so I'm so glad that as a household and as a family we found out that we like the jalapeno parmesan cheese for the savory bagels or the plain ones and for the sweeter ones we like the cinnamon um, raisin so I hope you guys try these come back and tell me what all you're doing with your bagels because this is such fun when we figure out how to do something I tend to do them over and over again and do different flavors and I hope you guys have been enjoying anyways guys thank you so much for watching the video please give me a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to the channel yet go ahead and subscribe go ahead and check out my awesome playlists and um, check out my website to see what I'm selling okay until I see you guys again take care thank you so much for watching liking and subscribing please check out my other channels the product review channel my family vlogs and Joe's channel you can find all the links in the description box below